What's up guys, Rogue Warrior 627 here and welcome to a preview for the Whitney Handicap at Saratoga tomorrow, August the 6th, and it will go as race 10 on the card, so let's dive right into it. There is not a lot I have to say about this race. Your heavy favorite Frosted, who is 3-5 on the morning line, is carrying 124 pounds. This horse is a freak. An absolute freak according to his last race. The Met Mile that he ran on June the 11th at Belmont Park was the literally the greatest performance in the history of the Met Mile. Greatest performance in the history of the Met Mile. Now, I'm not saying it was the most thrilling Met Mile. It was an awesome performance. But it was the single best performance in the history of the Met Mile by a horse. According to the speed figure, which was an outstanding 123, which crushes any other figure that has uh, been published this year. And Frosted is your very worthy favorite. I think he's your very worthy favorite. Uh, now, this field does not jump out at you, really, except for one other horse uh, that jumps out at you and says, Hey, don't forget about me. There are a couple of horses I do want to take a look at. Um, Upstart uh, has a tendency to run uh, third or fourth a lot, and sometimes he doesn't end up being a factor. Uh, Comfort, I don't know much about Comfort uh, for uh, Johnny V and Todd Fletcher, but definitely ignore him at your own risk. Uh, he's had seven career starts for, let's see. Um, okay, so looks like he's taken a step up in class. Yes, all right, so let's talk about Comfort for a second. I know we're jumping all over the place. Let's just look. He was fourth in the Coolmore Lexington Stakes at Keeneland uh, last year. I uh, came back into uh, allowance races. Uh, won last year, which he won. Won this year, which he won at Belmont Park on May 29th. And on July 4th in the state dinner, he won the race. Uh, let's see how his performance was. We got a nice little chart right here for you. Let's just pull this up right here. Uh, okay. Here's the second choice. Uh, and he won by three lengths. And he ran a mile on a 16th and 140.76, which is pretty good. I will say that's pretty damn good. So, Comfort, I think you're going to have to watch out for as a live long shot in this race. Upstart, I, don't, I really don't know what to think about him. Because he's kind of been iffy. El Kabir, I, I like, but uh, I don't know. He's he's the longest shot on the board. I realize John Taranova is always dangerous with some long shots, but I, I don't know if I like him in this spot. Let's just uh, look at uh, Upstart's recent form. Yeah, a lot of fifths, a lot of thirds, a lot of fourths. Uh, fourth in the Travers last year, I remember. First in the Razorback handicap at Oak Lawn. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really liking uh, the way Upstart looks. He can he can run third in here, fourth in here. Um, Noble Bird is an on and off horse. Either one runs really well or is really crappy, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I really don't know what to think about Noble Bird again. I mean, he... I mean, look at look at these numbers. Ever since his Stephen Foster last year when he won, he's finished first, ninth, sixth, second, okay, eighth, first, and sixth. I mean, come on. This is not honest. I mean, he won the Pimlico Special, but those were no top, top-of-the-line horses in the Pimlico Special. The Pimlico Special is not the Pimlico Special that it used to be by a long shot. And then there's FNX. FNX, the six horse. I love FNX. I love Jimmy Jerkins. I love Mike Smith. I don't know why he doesn't ride here all year long like he used to. 
But look at after next season, as honest as you can get, if you throw out his Stephen Foster, he has not been out of the money since the Woodward last year. And since then, he has run in the Jockey Club Gold Cup, the Breeders' Cup Classic, the Clark Handicap, the Santa Anita Handicap, the Oak Lawn. I mentioned the Stephen Foster, and he won the Suburban. Ephenix has speed and tactical speed, but Ephenix may very well be on the lead here. Ephenix, to me, and this is where I told you, um, I'm going to tell you, you got to look at the, at the race from two different angles, and you don't want to really, if you're betting the race by itself, you really want to wait a little bit. Um, you really want to wait a little bit until uh, the odds start fluctuating towards post on. Because if Ephenix is a good price, I would put a lot of money on him. Across the board, Ephenix, I, I I think that without a reasonable doubt will run run one two three in here. I don't think there's a reasonable doubt about it. He's seven to two on the morning line. If people think Frosted's unbeatable here, he may very well sink from those three to five opening odds. Maybe to you know two to five, one to five, one to four, whatever. And Ephenix's price may go up you know five to one on a, a horse like Ephenix who has speed in a race that does not have that much speed considerable speed i think fnx is a very very dangerous horse to take this race and that's why i'm putting him on top here um i realize frost it's probably gonna win the race but everybody it's saratoga once again saratoga and i mean fnx is just coming to his own as a very very nice Handicap horse. I mean, I, I remember him winning the Suburban last year and running in the Gold Cup, and then I saw him finish second to American Pharaoh in the Breeders' Cup last year. The only horse who actually went up and challenged him. I I gotta put Ethnix on top. I I I'm willing to throw out his Stephen Foster. I'm totally fine with that. Noble Bird just scares me that he's never consistent. Um, comfort, I like, I like comfort, so that's why I'm putting him third here behind Frosted. I mean, I, I really don't have that many strong opinions, and then I threw up start in there for fourth, because he likes to run third and fourth, so that's it. But, uh, El Kabir is your outside shot, and Oba Bird, I could really care less for, they, both of them, even El Kabir, El Kabir used to be a really, really good horse, people. You know, but he's really going to have to improve, obviously. Just like as Comfort will, stepping up in class by a lot, by a lot to get here. But that's, uh, everyone, is my preview for the 2016, the 89th running of the Whitney during the Fasic Tipton Festival racing at Saratoga on August 6th. Once again, it will go as the 10th race. And that is going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching, and peace.